Hello everyone, this is our 2015 Volkswagen Golf R with 82,202 miles. Really nice blue, kind of purple color. Shifts depending on the lighting, looks really nice though. Front end just has a few kind of rock chips intermittently throughout the front. Um, nothing serious, it really stands out specifically, just kind of a general amount of wear across the front. A lot of it's been touched up so it doesn't really stand out. Pretty minimal in my opinion. Just gen generally what you would expect from a car with 82,000 miles. Um, still looks clean, but just has a little bit of wear across the front. But nothing, you know, offensive or heinous that stands out. There's no, you know, scuffs or big chips or anything crazy like that. Overall, the front end looks pretty good. Uh, front driver's side fender looks great. Front driver's side wheel. New speed wheels. Driver's side mirror. A few pretty tiny marks on there, but nothing serious. Not very noticeable. For driver's side door, you got a small chip there. Otherwise, looks good. Rear driver door. Small scratch there. Really small. Driver's side rear quarter. Looks great. Rear driver wheel. Looks good. Going over the back end here. The top of the back bumper, as you know, pretty typical with hatchback vehicles, does have a few small scratches and marks on it just from loading and unloading cargo. It's bound to happen. Pretty much any kind of uh, vehicle that has a bumper like that uh, is going to have some wear, even sedans. It is more prevalent in hatchbacks crossovers though but overall i mean the back bumper looks really good the wear is very minimal hatch looks phenomenal no issues there the back bumper looks great gloss black rear diffuser quad exit exhaust passenger side rear quarter looks good rear passenger wheel looks good Rear passenger door looks great, no issues. Front passenger door looks good, no flaws there. Passenger mirror, peppered ever so slightly with some rock chips, but really small and insignificant. Front passenger fender looks good, and the front passenger wheel also looks great. I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, what I have to do is comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a site unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a better overall idea of the true condition of the vehicle. And hopefully, I've done that. Pretty clean Golf R, taken good care of. Nice spec with the blue and the black trim. Looking at the interior here, you have black leather interior. We've got auto dimming side view mirrors with um, power adjustable. They're, they're power adjustable, auto dimming, heated side view mirrors. Sorry for that. Uh, power locks, one touch power windows for all four doors. Power adjustable seats. They are heated and leather very comfy golf r floor mats with white piping looks really nice toilet sensing headlights apr boost gauge push button start fires right up no issues there no warnings on the dash and there you can see we're at 82,202 miles you can also see it's very cold outside today uh, it does have bluetooth satellite radio I believe nav as well if i'm not mistaken yep does have nav as well shifter cup holder 12 volt port all the hold features really cool um you can keep it in drive and if you hard press the brake it'll hold it in position so if you're in the drive through or whatever you don't have to put it in park it's a neat feature this is a DSG Auto Trans. Pretty awesome. They shift super quick. 
Interior is really nice, heated seats, not sure if I mentioned that. Dual zone automatic climate control. Uh, these paddle shifters are really nice, kind of a almost, I don't know if they actually are billet, but they, they feel like a really high quality billet with the uh, little gussets in them. They look pretty neat, they feel good. Fender car audio, factory option, auto dimming rear view mirror. I will do the back seat test. I'm 6'1", 195. Let's see how much room is there in the back. Goodness, I was not expecting that. I'm actually really comfortable back here. <laughs> There's actually quite a bit of space. This is not bad. You could very easily fit four of me into this tiny little egg car. That's wild. Volkswagen really knows how to allocate interior space. That's really impressive. I've sat in cars twice that size and had half that amount of room on the inside. And there's still a good amount of cargo space in the back as well. Very impressive. Was really not expecting that. So here under the hood, the car does have a couple bolt-ons, turbo inlet intake. I believe it has a cat back and a tune as well. Uh, looks like a downpipe on there. We'll have all the mods and everything comprehensively covered in the sales listing for this car on our website. Runs and drives great, a little two liter four cylinder turbo. Makes a, uh, a pretty good amount of torque to have fun with. It has a Haldex all wheel drive system, helping it to put power to the ground so you don't just torque steer and spin when you decide to have fun with it. The DSG. Makes it shift super quick. It's almost like playing Forza in real life. This car is an absolute ton of fun. And I'd be hard pressed to say you could have a more practical, fun, enjoyable car at this price point. It is extremely competitive. These cars are awesome. So that is our 2015 Volkswagen Golf R. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this vehicle on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.